going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Now, y'all know what you're thinking. This is clickbait, bro. This ain't clickbait. I swear to you, we played this guy. The dude looked just like Russell Westbrook. And I know everybody's played somebody in the park this year that looks like somebody or they they, they got him like last year i was gary payton before that i was reggie miller y'all already know that type of stuff man those are the guys whoever my character is based on that's who i try to uh that's who i try to have him modeled after now this is the question i don't know who my guy is gonna be this year as a three and d guard they say I'm russell westbrook but uh nah <laughs> i ain't russell westbrook <laughs> this guy was russell westbrook cue the drain So what we did was me, T, and Paul are on the threes. We're playing. They do the introduction, all this good stuff. I'm in the middle. I'm doing my thing. I got my extra generic intro, and this dude pulls up, and I'm like, bro, is this Russell Westbrook? Like, I'm like, yo, the cat looks exactly like Russell Westbrook. The question is, will he be able to play? LJ in the building, will he be able to play? That's the question. I mean, he got the kid and play popping. He got everything going. He merely rocking on any block. All that. I'm like, bro, this dude looks exactly like Russell Westbrook. Y'all see me out here. Extra, extra generic intros. Last year, y'all know the last couple of years, there's not been any real money in playing 2K as far as the VC. So you couldn't really earn VC like that. So I wanted to, you know, I, I never buy anything because I'm like, if I buy something, then you know, I'm not gonna have the VC. So I never buy those intros, but now I got over 100,000, uh, you know, VC just by playing the game, so I'm about to do that. T pulls up straight out the gate. I mean, they made him smoke the shot, man, but look, this cat, Russell Westbrook, he played just like Westbrook. We had to be on our best behavior. Look at this, T's missing shots. I'm, I'm guessing that those are intimidated shots right there. I can't get back, lane wide open, all that good stuff. I can't get back on him because my guy only got uh, like 90 speed. This is before the speed change also. This guy right here, was really playing the game like he was Russell Westbrook, a three and D guard. T pulled up from mid range, cash piping up. I got the price on reserve, but he really was playing like a two way slasher that could hit the occasional three. So I guess they would call. I guess they would make mean that you would call him a two way uh, a two way shot creator. I guess because he could go to the rim at will, but you know as far as the threes. He only hit a couple of them. And he goes right up over T, obviously. 61% cover. Bro, can we fix paint defense? Now, granted, T has no interior defense. But still, my brother, come on. So T, jump, T comes down right back at him. Goes up, lay up, smoked it. His is 18% covered, and it doesn't go in. Y'all might say it's probably because of the very late, very early, whatever. This guy throws the ball away. We right back in it. I'm thinking that, like, I don't understand it. A 18% cover shot doesn't go in, but 61% does? Or was it was it 31%? I don't know. It's water, baby. Get some of that water. My little boy wants some of this water, man. So, so we square. And that's what T's got to push. So right now, we know T's shot is not exactly on like it should be. Paul, with the little glitch move, goes to the rack. And we like, and that's 4-4-4. Four, four, four. This okay. is when Russell Westbrook decided that he really wanted to be Westbrook. And 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 just go go busy, get busy, and all that good stuff. Spinning, hop, stepping, rack. I mean, bro, he's really playing like Russell Westbrook. And I know you're going to have some people in the comment section. Man, eh, I got a regular player and I do this all the time. Bro. If you do it all the time, then hey, hey, kudos to you, my guy. But we don't do this. I don't see this every day. I don't see somebody that's actually able to play defense on T Mizzle and and do a decent job at it as well and get buckets at the same time. I very rarely see this. So the fact that he was able to do it, my hat's off to him. Now T still, I mean, at the end of the game, you're gonna see what happened. So you're gonna see that it really wasn't. It, it ain't all that. T going to the rim. Rack! Three piece, uh huh? T going to the rim. At the end of the game, you're going to see that it's not like a shutout or or he did anything just super awesome. But it was just amazing to me that, that this guy really know how to score. Look, I step over, try to pick him up. Bro, I can't get a steal, man. The thing that me and T was saying at the end, at the beginning of the day was, why is it, like, we're not saying that, that unpluckable should make you be able to get unplugged. But look, why can't a player 
that has a 98 ball handling get ripped by a player with a 32 steal like a center, but we can't rip centers. That's all we were saying. We just saying that hey, if if I can, if a, if he can get, if T can get ripped, then a center should get ripped damn near every time he touches the ball. He should not even be able to dribble in front of somebody with the same type of steal rate. That's what we're saying. And then some people are gonna try to say Fader, Darth Fader in the building, chat. You got my boy T Mills. Spam up that Darth Fader in the comments. But you have people that have a, a incredibly low spills, a, a incredibly low steal rating, as well as an incredibly low, a, a incredibly low steal rating and an incredibly low uh, dribble rating. And high high dribble ratings can't can't dribble on low steal ratings, and low steal ratings can't. Uh, I mean, can't, I mean, and low dribble ratings can't be stolen from by high dribble ratings. It's incredible. It's incredibly. It's, it's just stupid. Y'all know what I'm saying. And like, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is, man. One percent coverage. You see Paul going to the rim. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Like, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. If a player with 99 ball handling can get the ball stolen from him, then certainly a center with with 30 ball handling, he should he should get it up every time. Right here, we going they we know they're doing the cross. Our defense is actually really good. I understand how to play the game. I trust T. Y'all saw me cut dude off earlier in the game. Like, how is he going through me? What is that? Bro, you saw me cut him off earlier in the game with clamps. Right here, I'm thinking I got him leveled off. He's going toward Paul. He hops. Like, he don't have anywhere to hop step. He hop steps and pushes me out of the way and goes to the rim. I can't even get mad at that. The only thing I can say is, hey, you got to cover today, boss man. But hey, that's why that's why you have a T Mizzle on your team because you put incredible pressure on people. When when people know that you can score every time you got the basketball, you're putting incredible pressure on them. T with another dark fader pull up, drink, headshot, drink. Y'all already know what time it is, man. But look, here we go one one more time. We right back in it. Hey, square. Hey, we, we, we right back in it, though. My little boy, he just loves to be part of the videos. I can't get mad at him. Look at me get screened right here. I'm following the guy. He goes to the rim. 18% cover, and he blows it. But the other... Who knows, man? Maybe maybe it is what it is. T with the pullback. He tries to go for the fade. Try to run off the screen from Paul and go for the fade. He couldn't do it. Now he's tired. Hit him with a little left right. A uh, little left right here. A little, little bit more. Paul's got Russell Westbrook on him. He's going to go up on him. That's a baby down there. That's real Westbrook. That's a baby. Paul, hey, look, man. Paul, Paul is probably one of the best centers I've played with or, you know, just in the game. Right here, I got to show y'all one thing. I don't even know if this is going to be it right here. But I, I got Westbrook right here. He had to kick it out. He knew I had chase down artists. And, um, you know, I guess he just didn't want a chance because I'm 3 and D. Look at this. He just pulled 17%. But you know what, though? I can't even get mad because looking back at the tape, I don't have my hand up. And he just pulled it right in my face. In my face. Hey, it is what it is, man. The dude is hooping. He's playing for his life. He knows that if he doesn't take that shot and hit that shot, that, you know, it's pretty much over with. Game pretty much over with. So he decided to take that shot. And uh, the, the the bottom line is he still can't defend T. Milson. He can't guard T. Can't guard T, can't guard Mike, can't do whatever. But you know, it is what it is. T Mills are coming back down court. Look at a little crossover behind the back action. Pull up, drink, headshot, drink. He's getting the Darth Vader action going, ladies and gentlemen. And like, it's, like this is a duel back and forth on these guys. You see me pulling up right here on him. He knows what time this is. He knows that he can't really score. He tried to go up. He knew he was going to get swatted. They, 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 they gave him an animation. I felt like that should have been thrown out of bounds, but it wasn't. And like I said, dude, the dude is playing just like he's Russell Westbrook. He's taking all the shots, getting all the boards, doing everything right here. This is a spot where I really did not like what happened, but I'm going to show you all that later on in the game. I have a badge on. A lot of people were asking about off-ball pests and uh, what you should put it on. If you have on off-ball pests, I really feel like that you shouldn't put it any higher than bronze and I'm going to show you why because what off ball pest does is it allows you to interact with people who are off the ball and if the person is off the ball and they don't have the ball in their hand then you can actually get your hands on them a lot of times you can't do that but uh, look T hit him with hit him with one of those give it to Paul inside Paul with the pump fake here's T right here he's going to go straight to the rim and now we up 18 to 15, and we're thinking that this game is in the bag, pushing this guy out of bounds. You see my off-ball pass working, working. I'm chasing him back and forth. He's trying to dex me. I got pick dodger here, and then Paul with the foul. Now, look, that's all well, good, and fine. 
But this is the part that really bothered me a lot. So guys here, he, he's Dexter. He tried to go back door. You see Westbrook ain't gonna pass the ball. He tried to do that. Got this guy boxed out and he drills it. Like, bro, come on, man. I can't get mad at that, though. But I'm, I'm going to show you if there's an issue in here some, somewhere with off-ball piss where it's going to make me do something that I don't want to do and I don't want to spoil it for you. And here's Paul down low. Paul, right! Turn around. Reverse dunk. Reverse. 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 Y'all already know what it is, man. But look, here we go. Off-ball piss right here. I'm picking him up. He's running back and forth. I don't know if it's going to be this game or the next game. I'm picking him up right here. All right, here we go right here. I think this is it. T's crowd and T's got him. T files him. Now, look, we're going to reset the play. They got 14 seconds left. Russell Westbrook has been hooping so far. And uh, look, here we go right here one more time. T riding him right here. Look at this. Look what? Look, look. I'm sitting here thinking that I'm. Okay, look. T's riding him. I got to go through. I got to get through this screen. I'm like, okay, I'll be able to get through the screen. And look what happens. I, I interact with him and block him from going to the rim. And I'm like, bro, what just happened? Did I get hit by the screen? No. Off-ball pest kicks in, and it puts me in front of the dude. Now, let me say one thing. Even though it didn't work out, it did work out for us, this was cool because it put me in front of him. I denied his, his cut to the basket, and then it allowed me to box him out. And then we, we got the board. But if Paul hadn't been able to pick up right there, if Paul had been a regular center, he wouldn't have picked up. We'd have lost the game right there. We wouldn't have lost the game, obviously. But you understand what I'm trying to say. We, we wouldn't have lost the game. But what would have happened is they would have got the ball. And we would have been, uh, in, oh, they would have got that three. And then, and then, you know, then we'd have been in a completely other situation. But, hey, this is the reason why people don't be liking to play with T sometimes. Right here, they know. Right here, they know that T has scored damn near all the points. But, look, you got to be ready, man. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, man. When T passes you the ball, I, that's why I told him the other day. I said, bro, T, you might get one or two shots from you a game when it's a real comp game. And when it's a real comp game, every shot matters. So, if it's a comp game... You know everybody ain't going to be shooting the ball all willy-nilly. It's really going to be a two-person a two -person game between he and Paul. And you might get one shot. And there's a lot of pressure in that one shot to make it. And that's why some people don't want to uh, don't be want to play with him sometimes. But, hey, it is what it is. And, of course, as always, after a close game, they obviously spent the block. As is their right. Bro, look. When you, when you play a close game against somebody, you're you probably always going to spin the block. You're going to say, hey, uh, we're going to play these guys again. That game was pretty close. And uh, let's see if those guys are really about that action again. And, hey, we will oblige you. The only problem is just don't play us 365,000 times, bro. Bro, oh, don't do that. Now, as you saw last game, T was getting his bit. He was getting busy uh, and all that stuff. But now he understands. This, this is the best part about T. If you don't know who he is, Green Bean Money Team. If you don't know who T Mizzle is, you need to get to know him, man. This guy's one of the best point guards in the whole 2K community. His channel needs more views and all that stuff. He already get views, but you understand what I'm trying to say. He's better than than the than what people try. Like he, he, he probably better than your best. 82% contested, 92% whatever is good. But T made the adjustment. He was like, yo, uh, these guys are probably, they know I scored all the points last game, and now I scored the first two points this game. Pull up, drink. Uh, so what's going to happen is they're going to try to put a whole lot. Well, we, we already knew what Westbrook wanted to do at this point anyway. We knew he wanted to drive to the rim. We know he wanted to do all this stuff. But T was like, yo, I'm going to call out some backdoor cuts. He's like, you know, those are things. He hardly ever does this because, you know, he, he rather people to stay still and stuff. I didn't get up on, dude. I thought I could. Have y'all noticed that in transition, sometimes you just end up losing your man and, like, you're trying to be on him, but you can't, uh... Like you can't find him or whatever. Like I, I don't know about that. I did find one thing that really does, that really does, uh, that that really uh, denotes that or, or what causes it. But I gotta do some more experimentation. Anyway, he was just saying trades up, green bean, money team splash down. He was like, Jay, we gonna need you to be involved more this game. I'm not gonna play. You know, I'm not gonna play this game like this. I'm gonna get you more involved because he's like that dude hasn't been respecting you all game. So I'm gonna dot you up and I'm gonna um he shot that with me right there in his face. It says three percent cover, but he got intimidated. We know he wasn't gonna hit that. But he's like, I'm gonna dot you up and get you to do these back doors more. So all the thing I say is, bro, like I said, he go. I'm pretty sure he's gonna tell me the back door right here because I got I got a lot of space. Nope, pull up. Maybe that was when he said, you know, 
uh, I'm gonna call out some back doors for you because like I said right now we know everybody knows that he's gonna score the points and they like yo if he gonna score all the points we gonna stop him same thing that we done with uh that we're doing with Westbrook we're not about to let Westbrook just get all the buckets and stuff like that. Like, if somebody else going to have to beat us, that's all that he's saying. And he's saying that that's probably what they're saying right now. So here we go. I'm about to hit him with a back door. I'm going to show you all this too, man, on this back door. Every time on this back door, I'm trying to do the back door reverse, baseline reverse. They ain't let me do it. But what I want, what I'm doing is sometimes they're not, they're going to just completely lock you in that corner. You're going to have to run out of bounds and run around them. And then you can get that back door, especially if they have off ball pass. They got off ball pass. You're probably not going to be able to do a whole lot. But hey, here we go. Westbrook, right? To over Paul. Let's, let's sack me sandwich for Paul right there, boy. But that's the only time you ever see anything like that. Paul said, I'm going to foul him hard next time. That's all I'm going to do. I'm coming up. You see T one more time being the point guard he is right you trying to this is what makes him so good because he's like fluid man he adjusts in mid game and just says look whatever like it, it sometimes you got people that's just gonna do exactly what they're gonna do every time i don't know how he hit that or how that was six percent cover but it is what it is some people just play the game straight up and some people just don't ever adjust and that's why they end up losing games tj's gonna take what you give him right here look they thought he was gonna take the right get, get my sack meat back he, they thought that he was going to take the fader. He saw it, and then he just kicked it to the dude. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. And then look at the defense right here, though. Look, the, the switch with confidence. He knows what he did last time. I'm trying to stay away from that guy right there. And uh, he already knows he's going to get swatted if he go in there, and that, that, that's not really going to happen. And here we go. Mr. Shot, Paul pulling up. He got the ball. He probably got that 80 rebounding like I do. But this time, put some ass on him. Put some ass on him. He can't do that to you this time. And like I said, bro, this is, this is, I think this is just something that makes us good when we play together. We play defense. We adjust on offense. T gets plucked by a straight offensive threat. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how it goes. But like I said, you, if you make the right adjustments at the right time and the other team thinks that you're going to do the same thing over and over, you're going to beat the team nine times out of ten. That's just what's going to happen. Paul misses the screen. T goes to the rim. Look, he, he had nothing. He probably could have done it. He dribbled out, told me the back door. Couldn't back door, but I'm in position for the rebound. And they don't give it to me because my offensive rebound in this three. I pull up. I'm on him in transition. He still hits it 42% cover. Why? Because I ain't getting my hand up. I wonder why sometimes they don't allow you to get your hand up, man. It just is what it is. But like we said, though, they still sleeping. Right. Going straight to the rim. Get a little quick back door dunk. And we right back in it, man. Now 16, 12. We know what he wants to do. We know he wants to bounce from side to side. We know that Westbrook wants to take it into his own hand. T says, nah. I put it in my hands. Let me get that partner. Woo. And then uh, Westbrook. Now he's clearly frustrated. Clearly frustrated. He decides to try to tap five my boy T. We ain't having that right there. And now we know that we can close this game out with uh, with two shots, maybe three, just depending on what happens. Look, once again, T's dribbling. But see, I, I think right here he must not have wanted the two. He wanted the three. Or maybe he just didn't see how open Paul was. Pulls up in the corner. Misses. Paul kicks to the corner. Trades up. Splash down if you stay ready. You ain't got to get ready, baby. That's what I'm telling you. This is what I'm here for, man. This is why I'm here. I'm here so that I can play defense and so that I can also hit the wide open jump shots. Unlike this guy. He wasn't playing defense or hitting jump shots this game, but hey, it is what it is. And that's really going to round out the game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, this dude was Russell Westbrook. He was about that action. I know somebody in the comments going to say, eh, eh, I'm better than him, man. I'm better than T. Why don't you play with me? Bro, you got to prove that to me. You got to have like 90. Ooh, T to the rim for lay. And then, like I said, man, shot 100% that game. They shot 5, 4, 11, a little bit under 50%. And, uh, you know, I'm out here. Four for four, T four for eight, Paul one for two, man. Sometimes, that's why I'm telling you, this is why people have issues with playing with good players sometimes. Sometimes you got to be the person that's red. Like one game, you may have to hit two points. And the next game, you might have to score 30, just like when we were playing in rec. And some people, if they can't stay in that rhythm, it's hard for them. But anyway, I'm out at y'all next time, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Was this guy like Westbrook? Was he tough? Or would y'all feel like he was just a, uh, a trash bag that was masquerading as Westbrook? Y'all let me know. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Champ. Hello.